what's up miners hope everybody had a happy bitcoin pizza day yesterday i don't know about you but in my household we take bitcoin pizza day about as seriously as christmas or thanksgiving around here so um hope you all celebrated and had a good day um i want to show you guys something quick and easy uh, if you saw my video from like a week or two ago um i was showing how to set up uh your nodes on octa space which which honestly has been going pretty well. So what I want to do now is just kind of take the next step and show you guys what um, I got going today um, that I think is pretty easy um, and you should be able to do yourselves too. So let's do it. And things have gotten pretty interesting. Um, if you're following my experiment of salad, uh, 4090 on salad versus a 4090 on Okta, um, things on um, the salad platform have ramped up quite a bit just in the last several days. Um, Okta has been pretty reliably busy for, you know, the hardware that I have on their platform. Uh, and it's been profitable. Um, and as you can see here, you know, basically everything is rented. Um, I have these setups actually have these 3070 Ti setups I actually have pretty strong CPUs and a good amount of RAM. So they get rented quite a bit. Um, and what I want to show you today, which is going to be pretty quick and simple and easy, um, is how to run an idle script to mine. Um, when your node is not rented by somebody. Um, and this node right here is actually uh, rented right now. I'm sorry, is actually running an idle job right now. Um, it is mining uh, to my Quai pool right, right here. So um, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, you just use a Docker image. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Um, and that way, when your you know server, your node isn't rented by somebody, um, you just you can have it mining crypto or whatever you want and whatever whatever coin you want i'm gonna show you how to do quiet um so let's get right into it all right guys so the idea here for this video is really to just make uh you know this process as simple and quick and easy for anybody with just like regular you know mining skill level no coding skill uh to be able to do this you know with that being said you can make your own docker image and push that to docker hub uh you can create your own app here um, and, you know, actually what I was trying to do earlier was make my own Docker image of uh, Rigel, Regal Miner or whatever, um, and run that. But I found out the hard way that Regal apparently does not work well with Docker. Um, and so, you know, luckily enough, uh, Octaspace has their own um, SRB Miner uh, Docker image that you can use for this. So that makes this process uh, very easy. And then, you know, whatever coin you want to mine um, that is available on SRB Miner... Um, you can choose from you just got to set up you know your command like so and that's exactly what i'm going to show you right now so you see here octa 02 my uh this 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 node right here 567 um is not rented right now and so i want it to mine quai to alpha pool while it is not rented and so in order to do that uh you're just going to come over here and click on idle jobs and you're going to add an idle job okay and from there, in this drop down, your node, you're going to select the one obviously that you know you want to be uh, running the idle job while it is not rented. Um, and then from there, the Docker image that Octaspace already has available to be pulled is this guy right here. Um, this is the tag 2.8.7-1. I believe SRB is updated 2.8. Point eight now, um, but this is the one that they have and it works. So I'm just going to keep going with that. Um, and then you do not want to put your, you know, command here in the start script path area. You want to put your run command in the command area. It will not work on the other other way. And so I have here just the bash command SRB, what algo, prog pal quai. You can mine chi if you want to. Just make sure you have your chi mining address and you use either the Canada server or um, the EU2 server is Chi. Um, and so I have changed my worker name to the proper worker name, and it's really as simple as uh, I'm going to copy and paste this start command right in here. Um, and I'm going to check off privileged and make sure it's enabled, and then um, that's it. And I'm gonna click create and cross my fingers, and hopefully it works first try this time. So let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna wanna give it a second. I'll show you the logs of the other one that I have mining. Um, you can actually come in here. This is what the one I currently have working looks like. Um, and you know, just regular old miner logs. Uh, now I actually next need to figure out how to overclock. So I'm gonna need to grab the uh, parameters there for um, 
setting the core clock uh, and whatnot. So let's give this a second um, and and see if it gets going. All right. Okay, and it looks like right right it went up right away in under like two minutes. It, it looks like um, I got the up status here, and then you should be able to click in and see your logs. Oh wow, look at that! Works works like a charm. So first go, that's it. That's all you really need to do. And then you're gonna want to come over and check poolside. Um, it hasn't shown up yet. I think it needs to submit a valid share before we'll see it poolside. Um, but it looks like we are mining. Um, and so I'm gonna give it a couple seconds um, and hop over to SRB's GitHub actually um, and grab some of the overclocks and see if I can set some uh, overclocks uh, real quick. So let's do that right now. Yeah, that worked great. Showed up right away poolside just in a couple minutes. Um, you can see the logs here. Actually, you can set these. Yeah, these will continually update now. So there you go. Results accepted, share, uh, there is the worker. And so what I'm gonna do now is actually lock the core clock because I can see over here, it's all right, it's, it's already getting a little hot down here because this miner, I gotta move it out to the shed. So um, I'm actually just gonna set some parameters um, on this uh, idle script. So that way, um, you know, I can get a little bit better um, mining efficiency. So I'll leave uh, this start command in the video description below. I've just been having a couple questions in the Discord about this, and so I wanted to show you guys. It's very simple. Um, you can just whatever you can mine with SRB Miner, you can go ahead and just use this as your idle script. So you know, here it is. This is how you can mine Quai while your um, Octospace node is not rented. So there you have it, guys. That's it. All right. Happy mining, everybody.